So it's Saturday morning, so that means we are back with another recap of the Friday Night Developer stream for Marvel's Avengers. Now I'm going to slightly change the format of how I do this today, so let me know in the comments below if you like the new format, if you want me to go back to the more traditional one for future videos. But what we're going to do in this one is, firstly we'll bring up the recap you get in Reddit. It's up there each week by Billy B 311 so props to him for always doing this. I'll quickly run over that, and then once I've actually done that, rather than breaking it all down myself, I've actually went through the stream and I've recorded segments that I feel are pretty interesting and I'll put timestamps to them so if there's any parts you want to actually hear the developers talk in person about then you can just jump to that. So that's the format I'm going to try for this video and once again let me know what you actually think of it. But let's jump in and let's check out the recap we have from Billy on Reddit first. Once again then, thanks to Billy for collating all this, doing God's work every week when he does this. So to break it down anyway, the first one we have is that they see feedback on the, the Protocols event. They said this wasn't meant to be anything big or hyped up about, just something to give us to do until the actual Red Room arrives. And I've actually got a, a segment I'll link later on where they break that down a lot more and yeah, just to confirm really this was just wasn't even really meant to be seen as an event to be honest by the sounds of it it was just so we didn't go from the tachyon event with nothing happening and then the red room event it looks like they wanted to keep it running so they just put something very small in, in the time being so i'm glad to hear that because what we have at the moment is really disappointing but it sounds like it will get better they've mentioned the roadmap will get updated next thursday so that's awesome andy was talking about it's going to be the next thing in the roadmap. I'm pretty certain that they're going to date, but once again, I'll actually put a timestamp in this video so you can check that out on stream directly. They talked about a blog next week in Red Room Takeover and Post Level 50 Progression. Post Level 50 Progression is something I'm really looking forward to and it'll get me back into the game because even if I have a bad day of RNG, I'll still be earning XP and hopefully that'll allow me to get something interesting. On to Cloning Labs, and we've got a timestamp later on in the video again for more info on this. Cloning Labs won't be the first Omega level threat, a different one will be. I'm fairly certain from the, the early access developer stream of the, the roadmap we got a while back that it's going to be the Super Adaptoid, because we actually seen that specific gear was dropping from Super Adaptoid and it had the Super Adaptoid style for the actual tool tip for the gear, so I'm pretty certain that's what it will be. But Billy mentions that a Mega Level Threat is ready to roll and they'll give us the patch number when it arrives. They're showing off animated nameplates, it's not just a filter, so you got the Hawkeye one, one that I actually asked for way back on the, the 18th of April, and it was a suggestion, I said there's one I would like to see, and we're actually getting it. So it's amazing, everyone seems really happy with that, and it's definitely a big improvement over the earlier ones we've had. It then states that Phil is looking towards a brief in patrol mode in the next two weeks. That will be really interesting. Patrol mode is going to be really important for the game. We have some Red Room tidbits are that it's something different than everything in the game. There will be Techno Lava that you have to avoid falling in. If you're using it to your advantage to kill enemies by pushing them in it. And once you die you have to completely restart it. So they're really going for something very different here. And hopefully it's got a, a fair bit of difficulty in it. And then keep an eye on their socials as that's where they'll officially reveal the next MCU skin because that's all people are asking about in chat. I'm fairly certain we're going to get one soon. I can't say any more than that. And then finishing up, you had the, the new developer that was in it, Tor. He actually mentioned Spider-Man, which is pretty funny because everyone just seems to avoid him. But he mentioned about Spider-Man and some really cool animations and outfits as well. So that's the recap we've got there. As mentioned, what I'm now going to do is, it's essentially I've took the hour-long stream and I've condensed it into the parts that I found interesting. There's timestamps for them as well. So once again, let me know if you like this particular format. And if you do, when I do the recaps on a Saturday morning, that's what I'll look to do going forward. But let me know what you think about all this and enjoy the recap of the stream coming up. And thanks for tuning in. Stay safe. I'll see you all again soon. Uh, first off, uh, the Ruskaya Protocols event started yesterday. Uh, just a thing. The Ruskaya Protocols event is a pre-event to something else, uh, to the red to the actual Red Room Takeover event uh, in a few weeks. Uh, it was never something big or flashy. It's just something we wanted to give you guys something to do before the Red Room Takeover itself. Uh, some events are going to be on the smaller side because we need to work on things that are more substantial, like patrol mode like war for work on expansion like cosmic cube but we still want to give you a few things to do before those more substantial beats so that's um 
that's on that. We see your comments and we are taking it into heart as we always do. So thank you for giving us your feedback and everything. Uh, next week, we are going to update our roadmap again, just like we did. When was it like a month ago when we put um, no? Yeah, that was a month ago when we put Tachyon Anomaly event to April and then Red Room Takeover event to May. We are going to update the roadmap again with a little bit more specific information. So keep an eye out on that. Uh, it is probably going to be a Thursday, maybe Friday, Thursday, Friday, or near the end of the week ish. But yeah, we're going to update that. Uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly what we're going to update because I think that will ruin the surprise uh, if there is a surprise. But uh, it's just going to be a few updates. It's not going to be like anything crazy. So I want to manage expectations there. A few things are going to move around on the on the panels and we are going to get more specific with um, with one of the panels. I'm sure you guys can guess which one just from uh chronolo chron i don't know how to say that word time stuffs <laughs> yeah i mean the red room uh, is something that we, uh, we started working on when we were thinking about like what could we do to kind of celebrate black widow as as the movie were coming out and we love her as a character and the red room itself is very close to her dna of her character and with her and elena being kind of rivals and know each other from the past. So uh, so we started this little team that was working on these kind of gauntlets, or we can say kind of challenge challenge maps for her uh, in this kind of glitched harm room. And uh, they are kind of, a, a, they're different from a lot of the other content we have in the game. So I'm in my role, uh, one of the, the perks I get is that I get to play everything we do <laughs> extensively <laughs> and give a lot of notes. So uh, I'm usually the one playing through the events that we have and like how long do they take to complete, how hard are they, and how do we kind of tune them and tune the rewards uh, with whatever we can. So I've been playing it a lot. It's improved incredibly since we started doing it. and. Uh, it's something I'm really excited to see how how the players will, in general, uh, how to say, receive that. And, uh, yeah, people usually have like most of the people playing have their own favorite character in there. It's there's a lot of danger because it's all this kind of techno lava around the map, so it's really easy to fall in, and then the whole thing starts over. So you really have to watch your step, and a lot of the challenges are actually pushing the enemies into the pits which uh, you also have to find kind of smart, smart ways of doing. Why yes, Andy, what a good segue. Um, okay, so here's what's going on with Omega level threats. Uh, cloning labs, not gonna be the first Omega level threat you're gonna play, which is weird. If you remember, I talked about this, they're gonna come out in, in a strange order. So you're gonna be like, hey, this looks like it was made earlier. Uh, I get it, it's not ideal, but you are gonna get an Omega level threat uh, in one of the upcoming patches. I'm trying to make sure that I have exactly the right patch number, uh, but we played yesterday and uh, it was really close. Like we're just doing a little bit of tuning for difficulty. Uh, it's hard, but not in a horrible way. Like it's just really gonna test your ability to collaborate and cooperate and use your heroics at the right time. We're just making sure right now that it it's all making sense. So really when we're down to that, it's not a question of bugs, it's just balancing. So that's awesome. So you're definitely going to get one of those soon. Uh, I know soon's annoying, but I am just trying to confirm the patch number. Uh, this, this thing is pretty much ready to rock. So again, they will come out in a strange order, uh, but you will get some end game content to play. And of course, uh, it's not the only end game stuff we're working on. We're also working on another mega level threat uh that's even more advanced than the ones that we have right now which i think are really gonna help sort of fill out all the end game that we need um and i'll i'll talk about that as soon as we we have the ability to do so but uh what we're gonna show up today is an animated nameplate uh previously you know there's some effects above um maybe a screenshot or something and we said that we are gonna animate nameplates in different ways uh and that's not you know just how we're gonna do it we're going to have fully animated nameplates. So this one is a fully animated nameplate. If you guys are fans of My Life as a Weapon, we always use that when we talk about Hawkeye and about Kate. Uh, this is a this is directly from My Life as a Weapon. 
Uh, and this is just to show you guys uh, the different types of nameplates that we're going to introduce. All right, let me. So this, here we go. There we go. It's called Raka Baraka. So nameplates are going to be animated like this. Uh, you guys like it? <laughs> it is for Hawkeye. Uh, it's going to be for next week, I think, or the week after. <laughs> yeah. Red, Red Room trailer, that's coming up, right, Andy? I don't know when it's releasing. Yeah, we're going to have something something else for that. Yep. I saw it in the chat. Yeah, that's looking dope. Uh, <laughs> uh, Cool. I mean, Tor, is there anything else like you want to want to tell our community, or tell our players? I mean, we're probably gonna have you back at at some point all the time. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, super excited to see how everybody, how to say, receives the Sky event and the the Red Room that are coming up now. <clears throat> and with the, I mean, the the Tachyon event was our first and long time coming. Now, hopefully, we can kind of be on a roll and get these things out faster and have more kind of interesting changes to the game on a regular basis, so... Uh, cool. I mean, if you guys, if you, we have job openings, Crystal Dynamics Careers, if you guys are interested. Um, yeah. so, yeah. I guess, yeah. And on that note, actually, one thing just to, to note, uh, we, we had a chat about that today on the Cinematics team, I think, because we're talking about how many people that we now have on a team that's coming from QA. That is really a place we are actively recruiting through. We have animators coming from there. We have designers, boss designers, even uh, even our, our narrative director actually started in QA. So just as a thought, that that is a place to start. Uh, Spider Man. I see a lot of people asking, can we say with, there's some really cool animations I've seen, and this the skin's looking amazing. You can say whatever you want. You just have to deal with the consequences. I know. Well, <laughs> well, you, you already said it, so we're we're working on them, guys. As obviously, we're working on them. 